in the frigidly frigid frost-filled confines of February in Fairbo. We find ourselves at the foot of a factory and the future of farming. This is the germination area. Uh, this is where the plants get started. At Living Greens Farm, they're growing witty baby lettuce sprouts indoors. But that's not what makes them special. This is what makes them special. Why grow out when you can grow up? Why use a river when you can use a mist? Why farm at the behest of nature when you can control her conditions? We grow the plants in the air. And what that means is that the, it's called aeroponics and it's the process of, of uh, utilizing a, a, a spritz or a little fine mist uh, to spray on the roots. They use no soil and no sun instead feeding heads of butter and romaine lettuce with a nutrient-rich spray and powering photosynthesis with LED lights. This is what I mean by the plants growing in the air. So you can see the, the roots growing back there. And literally behind here we have our irrigation system that provides the, the mist to the roots, all the nutrients and everything they need. You must save a ton of water. Yeah, 95% less water. Than traditional than farming. Than traditional farming, yes. Each one of these racks grows 1,500 heads of lettuce, putting out about 23,000 heads a year. The facility grows the equivalent of 200 acres of traditional farmland. Lettuce is the most challenged of all industries. Uh, the growers in California that produce most of the nation's lettuce, uh, their reservoirs are going dry, they have labor challenges, overtime laws that takes Take, can take them up to a week or two to get the product here. We have all our products on the store shelf within 24 hours. If this process seems rather Martian, then its inventors won't surprise you. In uh, 1996, NASA started a program on growing how to grow vegetables in space. And they selected aeroponics because it was the most efficient in terms of use source. Now Anderson is taking it to the next level. Wow! Yeah. Isn't this great? Unveiling its third growing room, making it one of the largest vertical farms in the world. We're getting better and better at growing, but yet the costs are coming down, and that's enabling vertical farming to excel as an industry. Minnesota lettuce, homegrown and thriving in the dead of winter. I got permission to do that. 